Do food grade terpenes contain pesticides? There is a rumor in the industry that you only want to use cannabis terpenes because cannabis terpenes don't contain pesticides. Food grade terpenes do. Scary. So, my name is Drew, owner of MrExtractor.com. I provide terpenes for millions of products across the country and I'm here today to tell you the truth about whether food grade terpenes contain pesticides or not. In today's episode, food grade terpenes and pesticides from the Terpene Institute. So as a terpene manufacturer, I get asked all the time, do food grade terpenes contain pesticides? And you need to watch the video on food grade terpenes so that you understand the whole realm of that. Go check that out. What people are basically saying though, because they hear this on social media, is that you should only use cannabis terpenes because cannabis terpenes come from cannabis and these food grade terpenes contain pesticides. And the truth is, it's nowhere near that, okay? So I'm gonna set the record straight probably the opposite of what you think and I can explain why very easily. Okay, what people are talking about with food grade terpenes, again watch the other video, are terpenes that are extracted from plants that are not the cannabis plant. And the theory that goes out there is that because these are extracted from other plants, there's wide pesticide use on this other plant, those pesticides end up in those terpenes and then you're smoking pesticides. Okay, so let's set the record straight. The very, there's so many different ways to address this so simply. Now, first off, there are very few products in life that are so tested by a laboratory that you couldn't sneak anything through. I can tell you that almost every single one of my customers takes their product and has to put it into a laboratory by law. Like, that's how it is, man. These people have to test our products. Thousands and thousands of tests have been done on all my products. You know how much pesticides come back? None. I'm going to tell you. It is statistically impossible that every single one of those companies were wrong. And never, it's never happened. There are much more stringent quality controls in the pharmaceutical industry and the terpene manufacturing sector than there is in the cannabis production. Now. On the cannabis side of things, how many people do you know use pesticides on cannabis? Be real about it. They all do. They all use these crazy non-food grade, that's an actual term, food grade for that, food grade uh, pesticides they use. The cannabis industry has incorrectly used pesticide for so long that it's ineffective. In agriculture, you're supposed to use one pesticide rotate it to a different pesticide because the insects develop resistances, okay? That's normal agricultural uh, procedure. In the cannabis industry, people don't understand that. They got mites and mildew and all sorts of shit, and they just keep pounding the same pesticides on these things. And what happened is the mildew and the, and the mites and the thrips, they get immune to that pesticide. So then you got people that are just dumping pesticide on it, creating these immune strains, and they're using harsher and harsher pesticides because they've created... Uh, pests that are immune to the normal pesticides that work for everybody else. What's a real problem is that's moving over into the agricultural side. That's a whole other story. If anybody's using pesticides incorrectly, it's the people in the cannabis industry because these agricultural farmers, they know how to do it correctly and our products get tested all the time. So if you're going to have a pesticide issue, I can guarantee it's going to be coming from people who are sourcing cannabis material in order to extract terpenes that are getting it because they're so rare from anybody they can, those people are spraying pesticides. Now, I'm not saying cannabis terpenes have pesticides in it, but you really got to look at the facts here. Like which one do you think is going to have more pesticides in it? Your random farmer that's giving his trim to the terpene maker who's been using pesticides on it, or our products that have been tested thousands and thousands of times by every customer we've used and never had any pesticides come up. That is a rumor that is just easy to dispel. And if it was true, you would be online hearing all these people believe like, dude, I failed my pesticide because of the terpenes. And then I went and I took the terpenes in and I tested them for pesticide and they're full of pesticide. It's a simple thing to explain. It's just not the way it is. So feel safe knowing that our terpenes from MrExtractor.com do not contain any pesticides. I'm not gonna vouch for anybody else. I don't know what they're doing, but ours don't. Now, my name is Drew, I own MrExtractor.com. I make terpene profiles, cannabis terpene profiles. I take organic terpenes, I blend them all together, 
recreate the smell of cannabis, and I do it for a very small fraction of the price of cannabis terpenes. I hope that you uh, try our products out. Just go to MrExtractor.com. I'll probably send you out something free if you want to try it. This uh, Terpene Institute, it's not college-level stuff. This is just making sure that you get an educated, common-sense approach to terpenes from a terpene manufacturer. I'm not interested in bullshit people. We're way past that in life. I just don't need to do that anymore. My goal is to make sure that you can make an informed decision whether you buy my products or buy someone else's products. This is all common sense. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video and go check out some of the other Terpene Institute videos. Get a good knowledge. Make some money. Help some people. Cash in on the green rush before it's over. You're watching those prices crash, but this is a way to get in quick and I'll teach you how to do it. Ready? See you in the next video.